Fashion Chat Online Talk Show. I know it's been such a while, who met to miss, but we are back. My name is Kalira Laura, and my beautiful friend is here with me today. And the first thing you need to to look at is her T-shirt. Hallelujah! Harry. <laughs> I decided to do ministry even in pain. Hallelujah! <laughs> and I said. Jesus, if you died for everyone, did you not die for my ex? <laughs> Even with the heartbreak. And he said, I died for my ex. I call it John 3? 16. For God to love the world that he gave you. So that whoever, in me, including, including my ex, if you believe their ex, <laughs> you will be saved. Welcome to this episode. Yes, Karibuni Sana. And this month, throughout the entire month, we want to have a fitness conversation. Uh -huh. We're just trying to see how we can spice things up on the talk show to bring us real life, tangible, day-to-day -day conversations. And the beauty of it all is also the fact that, first of all, we are fitness men. Yay! Yeah. Secondly, <laughs> I think yeah. what's exciting is it's yeah. almost media. Yeah. And so you can still pick it up. Yes. Yani, not all is lost. I know fitness is left for January. Right. And, and, <laughs> Actually, and, yeah. and December. You know, that beach body. Actually, yeah, very good point. But yeah. it's June. Yes. And you can still get back on that horse. That's right. And we're joined by a beautiful lady. Hello. Thank you. Hi, guys. My name is Alice, or Coach Alice Kimani. Um, I'm a fitness coach. I'm a personal trainer. I've been a coach for more than 12, 13 years. <laughs> Name everything I can I can do. Kickboxing, yeah. Taibo, spin. Um, I normally deal with uh, post and prenatal. Pre oh. uh, wow. I'm a mother myself. Wow. <laughs> yes. <Hey>. So, <laughs> Laura, when we are mothers, we yeah. really look like this. <laughs> we <laughs> We're like, yo, hey. it's happening, sis. Uko. I know. Gosh, wow. So, really it, has, nice. it has been a journey, trust me. Yeah. And it's an amazing journey. Yeah. yeah. And you have to have a reason why you want to do this. Yeah. Um, why? Why you want? Why do you want to go to fitness? Yeah. Um, what is giving you back? Yeah. Is it your mental health? Yeah. For me, honestly, it was my mental health. I remember I started okay. back after my form, form four. I immediately knew I need fitness. I need to go to school and, and How? do fitness and do that. Mm -hmm. Because How? I was bullied. Yeah, I knew I, I need driving <laughs> and we need and I, and so computer you packages. Form four for me, but it was like after some time. I remembered how when I was in school, what used to keep me feeling alive was being active. Mm -hmm. like, ah, exactly. Soccer, etc. But now, post school, where mm -hmm. I don't have those structured things. You know, we used to have structured things, structured. Yes. I, I realized I have to create a structure for myself. You said mm -hmm. something about bullying. Mm -hmm. Can you get into that a little bit, even as you mentioned the brand Confident, that you exactly. work with? Yes. <laughs> so, I was in primary. I used to be a very fat kid, or let's say just a plump kid. Eh? Yeah. Um, I never, I never, foc I never focus on my nutrition, and I remember my parents. You remember the Kikuyu parents? Um, yeah. They are good kids. They have to finish everything on yes. their plate. Eh? Yes. So I used to have a big appetite. Wow. My dear, I used to eat like nobody's business. So I grew up when I was um, not feeling confident. Um, I was the big one in my class. So I, and you know, you. You, the shape and whatever you're like, the other kids are so skinny. And then I, I, I felt like everyone was calling me kanono, kanono, kafati, kafati. So I used to be so, I didn't have confidence. Yeah. I was so insecure about myself. Yeah. When I went to high school, I was like, um, no, this is, I, I, this, I, don't, I don't feel comfortable with my own body. So I started taking action. I did volleyball, yeah. I did handball, I, I did sprints. And after that, immediately I knew my career is going to be sports. Wow. When I was done with my Form 4, I knew I want to be a coach. I want to help other women. I want them to get confident. I want them to look good, you know? I want, I want all women out here, and that's what I've been doing with my colleagues. We have been going, we have been going places, telling women, come on, we can do this. And normally we deal with women. We don't train men, not because we have anything against them. It's because we have gone through a lot as women. And if I can help another, like, growing woman, like, come on, you can do this uh, despite you feeling very, you know, insecure, you know, confident. You can still get this back. You can wow. still feel beautiful, okay? And for me, this is a mental health thing, eh? Because I was like so depressed, I'm like, no, as in, this is not the life that I want to live. Well, someone is looking to start, to just start. You know, they, they um, or maybe they've not even gotten as far as thinking about fitness. They're just in a, not a very good space in their lives. Mm -hmm. What are some things you tell someone to be mindful of in their lives mm -hmm. that could probably be healed? Mm -hmm. um, 
what I, can, what, I can, what I can tell someone who's going through that, uh, say, not necessarily living the way, let's say just mental health. Um, you can just start by walking. Talk to yourself, okay? Talk to yourself when you're having this walk. Ask yourself, what is going on with my life? Am I, am I in a good place mentally? What is making me get to this space, okay? You don't even have to go and just spare a gym yet. You have first to ask yourself this question. You, it's a decision that you take inside. You have to be like, okay, I don't, want to, I don't want to be crazy, I don't want to go under these medications and, and whatever counselors. Remember, this is normally a choice. Eh? It's, for me, it's a choice. Going to see someone is normally a choice, okay? But if you ask yourself, um, rather than me getting to medication or committing suicide, what else can I do, you know? Just wear your sport shoes, trust me, go out and just walk. I don't even want you to run. Walk, ask yourself questions, where do I want to start? Do I want to play a gym? Do I want to do kickboxing lessons? Like for me, I train women kickboxing like the real thing. Eh? It helps them with the mental health thing. So if, and security. Uh, yes, <laughs> and, and self-defense. <laughs> yeah. I self teach them oh, yeah, self-defense. Self I teach them uh, the aggression to move that aggression through these pads. Eh? I remember it's, it's a serious class because we have um, different levels. We have uh, one to eight session is one different level. We have advanced, we have intermediate. We have super, super advanced, like we do flying kicks and all that. If you see them, they're like, oh, okay, okay, wait, yeah. wait. You know? Should African mothers uh, take kickboxing because they have so much aggression? Uh, oh they my need to fight God. Someone to remove any their wife or any lady who's going through excess. Yeah. Right? Excess. <laughs> I think, I think I've, I've, I've not, never really thought about it that way, but to be honest, yeah, it needs to be released. Being at the gym is about also releasing. That's my point. Not necessarily even being at the gym, but just taking up a physical activity mm -hmm. of any kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ita, ita anyway. Ita it's pressure. It's a talker anyway. It's a talker. It's rather it's okay there, right? Place. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nora, I'm excited because we have, we're going to have more episodes with you. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> throughout this month, maybe yeah. you can highlight some of the things that we are going to be doing throughout yes. the month. We're going to be talking about um, how to be consistent, <laughs> which is something that many people struggle with. But even before we jump into that, we just want to talk about where to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, I want to come to a gym. I've already decided that I want to come to a gym. How do I pick a good gym? How do I pick a good trainer? Mm -hmm. You know, from there, how do I be consistent? Mm -hmm. What is the best workout regimen for mm -hmm. me? Um, what are the best, you know, you know, consistency, especially Christian women, you know, so reservations in terms of um, these are with the gym where I understand. In a push hugging, hugging you everywhere <laughs> and you're not feeling I mean it's it, there's no there's no harm in us just having that conversation as well. Um for a Christian girl who's feeling out of place or like make will this thing work for me in terms of now we need to say that makes sense. Anyway. Question that is a question. I will I will I will let but you know. Before, as you just end this video, can yeah. you just tell us about uh, if someone wants to sign up with Confident fitness. Mm -hmm. How do they do that? So we, we have different handles. I will let my colleague tell you about that because she's she's the one who has the she memory has, about yeah. all of them. But okay. we have an Instagram account. Okay. It's right here a, below the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have a confident number. We have a confident fitness number. We have um, what else do we have? Emails and all that. But she will she will tell you all of that. Yes. She is someone you want to see in the next episode. <laughs> so you better join us. So next week, please do join us. And uh, we trust that so far, the energy is just where it's supposed to be as we talk about fitness throughout the month of June. Yes. Biceps. <laughs> <laughs>